The colonization of a territory by tiger mosquito is a gradual process that lasts several years. When the tiger mosquito arrives in a territory, at first it colonizes it in spotted areas, and this means there are few isolated outbreaks casually spread in a non-uniform way. In the advanced stage of colonization, the mosquito spreads in the whole urban territory, and the speed of this process depends on the environmental features. A survey conducted in our area, corresponding to the situation in Emilia-Romagna and reflecting at the same time the general Italian one, highlights that the tiger mosquito populations were still undergoing an expanding phase. The first three quarters of the tiger mosquito life cycle occur in the water. Puddles with even small quantities of water are necessary for the mosquito to lay its eggs. Also, just above the water surface. Once these eggs are submerged by even a small amount of water, like stagnating water after rainfall, the larval cycle begins, and it ends up with the adult mosquito, which causes great trouble to man. This mosquito pretty well adapted to urban environment, and in order to lay its eggs, it chose development places like flower pot dishes, manholes, watering cans, bins and bottles left outdoors, as well as children's toys and other objects where stagnant water is to be found. It is important to underline that the tiger mosquito larvae have never been found in rivers, ponds, marshes or ditches. This means that it doesn't colonize such environments. Our towns proved to be particularly favorable environments for the settlement of the tiger mosquito, which by now has well adapted, becoming a proper Italianized mosquito. In recent years, its presence was detected in very sunny squares, shopping center parking, or industrial stocking areas where several sources of stagnant water exist, with filters and grates for the collection of rainwater.